Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today I want to talk about all the gorgeous card treatments in Innistrad Midnight Hunt and where to find them. We've been to Innistrad, but this is the first time we've come to the plane after starting Project Booster Fun, which kicked off in 2019. It's a really great opportunity to show off the world like you've never seen it before, with additional art, frames that feel like they belong here, and some pretty cool and unique styles of cards. These treatments really capture the resonance of Innistrad and bring the world to life even further. Let's kick it off with one of our showcase treatments here. Showcase Equinox. These cards have alternate art and a unique frame that appear on all werewolves and warlocks in Innistrad Midnight Hunt. That means new art on both sides for the werewolves. And yes, that includes Arlen Cord, the werewolf planeswalker. These frames have a dark beauty to them. They're a little spooky and a lot gorgeous. Another treatment is Showcase Eternal Night. Now you've already seen this a little bit before when we showed you all of the basic lands. Inspired by black and white horror films, they're some of the coolest and most unique treatments on full art lands yet. But that's not all. For all of you excited to see legendary creatures, like say commander players, every legendary creature in the set that doesn't have an Equinox treatment, so that's all of the legendary creatures besides werewolves and warlocks, gets one of these, complete with new artwork. Just like Sagarda here. Simply stunning. I absolutely love how well this lends itself to the world of Innistrad. Now, I wanted to show you one in person, because as you can see, they have something pretty cool. A special gloss on the pin line, and for the basic lands on the mana symbol. That's true on both the foil and traditional foil versions, and really gives these elements a subtle elevated shine. Check it out. Also, as we have done since Throne of Eldraine, Planeswalkers have a cool borderless treatment with unique artwork here, including Arlen Cord. But it's not just Planeswalkers either. The new Dual Land cycle has this treatment too. Check out these beauties. While Eternal Night goes to black and white, the borderless artwork treatment on these Dual Lands really brings out the color of Innistrad. Another staple since Throne of Eldraine has been extended art cards. These appear in collector boosters only, and any rare or mythic rare from the main set that doesn't have a showcase or borderless treatment shows up here. Additionally, Commander cards are getting this extended art treatment as well. And speaking of extended art, there's the Buy a Box promo. It's alternate art, extended art, and foil, Champion of the Perished. The only place you can find this alternate art in Innistrad Midnight Hunt is at local game stores, while supplies last. Now those are all the individual treatments. There is still one more thing I want to talk about before going into what you can find in each pack, since it's something new here. With Innistrad Midnight Hunt, we are trying something brand new, set booster cards. This is like how we've done theme booster cards in the past, for example, in Theros Beyond Death, with cards like Terror of Mount Velas and Iron Scale Hydra. There are eight cards, six rares, and two mythics, which appear in set boosters and not draft boosters. They are targeted for commander and are legal in commander and other eternal formats. They are not legal in standard, pioneer, or modern. Why do this? Well, when we go to a world and have these set aligned commander decks, we get to show off the world through the lens of Commander, with cool additional legends and rares. However, it can be limiting given both the themes of the decks and also the colors of the decks. For example, the two Commander decks in Innistrad Midnight Hunt are green, white, and blue, black, helmed by Lenore, Autumn Sovereign, and Wilhelt, the Rock Cleaver, which leaves red entirely out of the equation. This way, red can get some toys too. It also lets us go off theme from the other thing decks are doing, not have any concerns about them seeing play in standard, or print a commander that wouldn't make sense helming either deck. I think you'll like what you see. There's one card in there, which is a popular request that players have been asking me about for a long time. Okay, all of that down, good. Now let's go to the packs. Let's start with draft boosters. Of what we've talked about today, draft boosters can have the showcase or borderless versions of cards. So that means it's possible to open up Eternal Night Legends, Equinox Frame, and borderless Planeswalkers here. These treatments show up here about a third of the time you would open the card. So 
For example, for every three Sagardas you open, statistically, one of them will be Eternal Knight. The only exception is Arlen, since she has two different possible alternate frames. And of course, you'll get one Eternal Knight basic land in every pack. Moving on to set boosters. Here, almost everything previously discussed is possible to open up. You'll get an Eternal Knight land for sure, and you can open up Eternal Knight Legends, Borderless cards, and Equinox cards here. This is also the place you can find some of those additional cards, which are legal in Commander and other Eternal formats. And finally, we're moving into Collector Boosters. These can have those card treatments, Eternal Knight, Equinox, and Borderless, plus the extended art cards. There's even a dedicated slot in the pack for extended art Commander cards, meaning you can find the cards from the Commander decks or the additional eight cards targeted at Commander here in extended art. None of the Commander cards can have showcase versions, but you can find the Commanders in extended art here. So to break it down, you can find Eternal Knight, Borderless, and Equinox cards in Draft, Set, and Collector Boosters. Extended art cards only appear in Collector Boosters. And finally, the Commander targeted cards can appear in Set Boosters and Collector Boosters, but not Draft Boosters. They're not standard legal. Have any more questions? Go check out Mike Turian's article called Collecting Innistrad Midnight Hunt and Clayton Crow's article Fear and Booster Fun in Innistrad Midnight Hunt on DailyMTG.com for more information. And if you missed the big reveal stream today, go check it out on the Magic the Gathering YouTube channel. Well, I hope you're as pumped for Innistrad Midnight Hunt as I am. I'll talk with you again soon. And in the meantime, may you find just the card you're looking for. You got this. Number three, love it or hate it. Delver of Secrets is a card which has been format defining, but it's part of a much larger story. Delver tells the story of one scientist's evolution to insect, but it's not until Shadows over Innistrad that we get the three two flyer Aberrant Researcher who turns into perfected form. And then in Eldritch Moon,